the MI-28 attack helicopter crashed in Russia's Galuga region. The crew was killed. Preliminary information suggests that the crash was due to a technical malfunction. Alexander Kovalenko, a Ukrainian military and political observer with the Information Resistance Group, shared his insights regarding the crash. What's surprising here? The MI-28 is known to be a problematic helicopter with numerous defects and shortcomings. Despite 40 years of operation, none of these issues have been completely addressed. The helicopter systems are notoriously finicky and unreliable, and they are critically dependent on weather conditions, which can even lead to loss of control and pilot disorientation, the observer explained. During overcast conditions in Ukraine in the spring of 2022, the MI-28s made their pilots effectively blind and deaf. This made them easy targets for Ukraine's mobile groups armed with manpads as they couldn't detect these threats and their weapon systems were ineffective at long ranges. In September 2023, a Russian video showed an Mi-28N struggling to hit the Ukrainian UJ-22 airborne UAV, which has a cruising speed of 120 km an hour despite firing with a 30mm 2A42 cannon. Last summer, Russia attempted to sell the Mi-28 to African countries, but there has been no interest in the past year. It seems even in Africa, there's no demand for such unreliable equipment, the observer concluded. Recall on July the 25th, the Mi-28 military helicopter crashed in Russia's Galuga region due to a technical malfunction. The helicopter crashed in a deserted area during a routine flight. According to the Russian Defense Ministry, the crew was killed. Regional Governor Vladislav Shapsha said the helicopter crashed in Kaluga's Zizdrinsky district. A task force and rescuers are working on the crash site, he said on his Telegram channel. The Zizdrinsky district is located on the border of Russia's Kaluga and Bryansk regions. Alexander Baribin, the head of the district, told news agency TASS that the helicopter crashed in a forest area near the village of Klenki. The Dutch open-source outlet Oryx said that since the full-scale invasion of Ukraine started in February 2022, Russia has lost at least 138 helicopters, of which 106 were destroyed, 30 were damaged, and 2 were captured. Meanwhile, figures published by Ukraine's general staff on Thursday showed the total number of Russian helicopters destroyed since the war began stands at 326. Independent sources give numbers that are more conservative than Kiev's, and Russia doesn't publish figures on its military losses. Moscow has also lost a number of its aircraft in cases of friendly fire.